Hey guys! Alright, so this is my first video that I'm doing since the hair makeover. So I'm, before I even start talking about the video, I'm just going to give you a lowdown about the hair. So I am absolutely in love with this haircut. It's so easy. I basically wake up and it looks exactly the same as when I styled it the day before. I barely ever have to do my hair now. So what we did is, I, I don't know if you guys watch the other video or not explaining the haircut but I'll show you what we did so we pretty much shaved all the not shaved but cut short all the way around and then kept the top really long so I can do lots of different looks with this I could keep it to the side um, on either side so I could keep it on this side or this side or I could wear it back um, yeah and it's just super easy and effortless and I love it and I just think it's fun change and so I'm super happy with it I hope you guys like it I know some people are gonna be like what the hell were you thinking my girlfriend saw it the other day and she was like what did you do to your hair but um, most of my other friends love it so that's a good sign <laughs> anyways okay so that's a little bit of update on the hair and the look that I'm doing for you today is a really nice bronzy summery look um, I love this look because it's great for kind of getting that bronzy glow and it's super easy to do so I'll show you guys I'll zoom in so it's like bronzy tones all over browns and coppers and it's a smoky eye which is really pretty you could totally wear this for day if you want or this is a great evening look as well um, I did like a nice bronzy cheek and like a pale peach lip um, the palette that I used is this palette which I use a lot when I'm doing makeup it's my brown neutral palette these colors are the colors that people are most drawn to usually um, because most people are kind of scared to use color when it comes to eyeshadows. So they see this and they're like, oh, I love this palette. This is my favorite palette because it's all neutral shades of browns and um, blacks and golds. So this is a very common palette. This is a palette that I use all the time. Um, what When I'm doing this tutorial today, I'm going to show you the colors that I'm using. And then I'm going to suggest alternatives because this is a really easy look to do and you don't have to use the exact colors I'm mentioning. Um, so I'm going to give you guys alternative colors to see what you have in your makeup kit. Alright, so enjoy watching this tutorial. Thanks for all the feedback about my hair. Um, I love you guys for it and keep up the feedback. It's so nice to read the comments and um, yeah, have fun checking out this look. I've already gone ahead and put foundation all over my face then I'm just gonna start doing my eyes because in case there's any fallout I don't want to do concealer or anything else so it'll be a lot easier to clean up first thing I'm going to be using is an eye primer you can use anything you want the one that I'm using is the makeup forever um, just pearly pencil primer uh, this is just really easy to use you guys have seen me use this many times so you literally just put it all over your lid like that and then with your finger just blend it out super easy and it's fast that's why I like it take it a little bit underneath and blend it out as well first color I'm using is this nice warm brownie orange color this is called texture it's by Mac if you don't have this color you could use soft brown which is this color here it's just a slightly bit lighter um, but if you do have something that has a slight um, kind of orange tint to it um, in a brown then that's the one that I I'll, I recommend to use. I'm using my 224 nice fluffy brush and I'm just applying this in my crease area and slightly above. This is going to frame our eye. Next color I'm taking is the color brown down which is this nice ready brown if you don't have this color, you could use any alternative. This is um, corduroy, which is very similar. Um, this is ooh, Swiss chocolate, which is also very similar. So if you have any of these, you just want a nice ready brown. That's kind of what we're going for. And we're going to place it just right in our crease. Just like that. So a hint more def definition. 
See, I'm saying that word again. I stopped for a while, but it's back. <laughs> Just like that. Next color is the color Woodwind, which is right here. This is a nice coppery brown. It's like a bronzy copper color. If you don't have this, a very close alternative is Patina. So I'm going to use Woodwind, but you could also use Patina. It's very similar. And I'm just using a flat shader brush. This is the 239 by MAC. Just apply that on the inner part of your lid about three quarters of the way. So take the ready brown color we used earlier, this one right here, which is called again brown down or any of the alternatives I suggested and we're going to go along our bottom lash line. This is what's going to make it a smoky eye because we're going to rim the whole eye with the eyeshadow to give it that smoky effect. Taking a black eyeshadow, I'm using this one right here, which is just a flat matte eyeshadow. This is by MAC. I'm going to apply this in the outer corner of my eye, just like that. And just blend that in. And then take that same color and just rub it along the outer corner of your bottom lash line. Just like that. Next, I'm taking a black liquid liner. The one I'm using is the Makeup Forever Aqua Black. And I'm going to line my top lash line all the way around. Then I'm going to go underneath as well. Just in the waterline, all the way across. <laughs> Tight line the top, and then just kind of slightly blend it into your lashes. I already gone ahead and curled my lashes and applied the L'Oreal Lash Serum, which I love and I'm using all the time now. And I'm just applying mascara. So if you put ton tons of coats of mascara, you should be good. I'm using the Smoky Lash Mascara by Makeup Forever. This is still definitely one of my favorites. Um, so if you put a lot of coats of mascara, you don't need to wear false lashes. False lashes with this look looks nice because it'll open your eye a bit because it's such a smoky eye. Just take a little bit underneath as well. But I'm going to put false lashes on. So I'm going to fix up my foundation and concealer and I will be right back. The blush that I'm going to be using is, this is called Enough Said, this is by MAC. It's a really nice warm golden blush. This is really great for getting like a nice bronzy look even with your blush. So I put bronzer on just a bit for a little bit of contouring. And then I'm going to put the blush just on the apples on my cheeks. And it just looks really, really pretty. Okay, for lips, I'm using a nice kind of warm peach tone lipstick color. This is number 438 by Makeup Forever. Um, anything that's kind of peachy but not too peachy would work for this. Um, I'm not even applying that much. I'm just kind of tapping it on my lips just to get a hint of color. But I don't want tons of color on there. And then I'm going to go over that with a nice bright corally pink gloss. This is number 3 Glossy Faux by Makeup Forever. I love this color. It's super bright and it's a great summer color. 
Okay, so there you go. That is the final look. Have a look at uh, the bronzy, smoky eye. Um, I'll zoom in a little bit. So you can see it's like really nice bronzy shades. This is a great color. This is a great look for summer. I love it. Um, it's really nice and summery, bronzy glow kind of thing going on. Um, we did the bronzy cheek and just nice, a, a nice pale uh, peachy color on our lips. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Have fun trying it out. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.